yo, I just want to let all the conservatives know um, that it's okay to disagree with one another. I mean, <clears throat> we're all individual people. The big end goal we all have in mind, I believe we all see clearly. We know how we need to vote. We know the condition we want to get this country back into. So in that sense, we all have the same goal in mind. So when it comes to these individual hot topics and things that pop up on the news, it's okay for us to see things differently. It's okay for us to disagree with Tatum. It's okay for us to disagree with Candace Owens or Hodge Twins or Craig Long or Oliver Mack or ABL or, or, or Modern Renaissance Man. It's okay for us to disagree with these people that we've grown to know and love and appreciate. But it, I think a lot of, of y'all are afraid to do that. Y'all are afraid to have your own opinion sometimes. It's like, look, they got to where they are because of their opinion so it's okay to go against it because they're just like us they're people just like us and i think a lot of you are so afraid to say something against them and you know it's, it's kind of scary actually we don't want to be like the left we don't want to be mindless puppets like the left where it's like man this is this is not a cult they think this is they think this is some type of cult and it's all about trump and we follow trump like he has us on a leash and all conservatives are in this cult-like mindset we're not like them so we got to stop acting like it it's okay I believe Tatum had a very controversial opinion on a very controversial topic just recently that most conservatives that we follow disagreed with. Then it's okay. Did they make a video that said Tatum was wrong? No, they stated their opinion, but it was, a lot of it was in opposition to what he said about the hot topic. So that's okay though. We, we all see things differently and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. We have to continue to be individuals though. In this conservative movement, yes, we all want the same thing. I believe. I believe we all do, most of us. But when it comes to these individual issues and things that we all want to speak on, it's like, I think a lot of times we could be so robotic. It's like, well, Candace said this, so we're, she speaks so strongly, so man, it's got to make sense. We got to go with that. Or if Tatum, you know, speaks speak so strongly about certain things, or if the Hodge twins say it's any of those names that we appreciate says enough in a certain way i believe a lot of us are like cattle and we just jump to it. it's like okay but did you do your research on it did you find out what you feel about it we have to think for ourselves continually think for ourselves and it's okay to disagree with me i'm not saying i, I got a name like them but it, what i'm saying is that a lot of y'all appreciate what i have to say but if you don't agree with something i have to say it's fine we could debate on it in the chat we can it's fine you know, I, I just wish we would all continue to have our own minds. Speak what you want, think what you want, regardless of what your favorite uh, conservative influencer or Trump, for that matter, has to say. Be you, stand your ground, have the courage of your convictions, and think the way you want to think. If someone enlightens you, or if you can enlighten someone else, let's do it. Let's do it. We all want to do this the right way this is a big election these are big topics these are big issues and if you can enlighten someone or if they can enlighten you that's totally fine but if you just don't agree on that topic it is what it is it's cool it's all right so look let's let's just be ourselves let's just let's use our own minds all right